check if that is all. Yeah. So, let's try to compile it now. You just press uh, F5 for compiling. Uh, well, uh, debugging. It will have to build first, which we saw earlier took some time. Uh, let's make it go through there. You can also uh, just build without actually debugging, which will do the same, except it won't launch the game. So you can check it out. Uh, but if you, like, yeah, you can uh, build the solution by pressing F7. Okay, so we got some errors. Let us see what this error is. Um, see drill find error. Um, let's go up to here. Current window. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> derp. It was there. So, here we have it. It's something in the mo move override. Uh, I think it said something about that under here. Yeah, error link. Link. Yeah, whatever. Uh, already defined in move override. And that is the error we are getting. So then you want want to go and open that, and here we have this. So um, yeah, just open uh, the move override file, which was in public uh, pyre zero folder. So open um, public 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 pyre move no wait me oh I always says that wrong mem over mem override yeah I said move override that's something totally different but whatever uh. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then go back into here and check out what we are going to do. So this is this. We have already done this function. Already also need commenting out from public tire. Okay, so let's find this function by copying copying it, and as we have done already already before find what in this we want to find this in this so find and let us see is that correct yes it is so then just use the double slash and this will just comment it out from the debugger so we don't actually need this code so that's fine totally fine save and uh, try to run it now uh, this will be a so long tutorial sorry guys if I'm going a bit slowly but um, okay game info txt don't exist in the sub directory Oh, we need to add this game info. Um, yeah, this isn't actually coding, but whatever. I will have it in this tutorial anyway. Game info.txt, it's here. Why don't it work? I don't really see. Um, let's just try to. Check your game parameter. Oh, I think it's something wrong in the properties. Oh yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Let me just check that. Okay. F okay, I think I fixed it. Uh, the only problem was um, first I had to build. Well, I'm building it now. 
the server um, solution individually from client one since the debug uh, debug debug episodic um, folder wasn't here already so apparently it didn't like did what it should do it didn't uh, wait are we running in debug yeah um, it didn't what shall I call it um, make the server stuff since I didn't I hadn't done any changes so it didn't run it but then it wouldn't create the actual debug episodic folder and uh, also that would make the server.dll in here somewhere uh, not show up in this uh, content folder so okay also a thing I needed to do was going into this um, configuration properties debugging and add this line of code um, I will well code it's not actually code it's just a comment uh, for making it uh, launch the game and uh, allow debug mode and stuff like that since we're running in debug mode it will have to have this one this uh, command to make it actually run and I can't run it from Steam uh, I don't know why but it says it just stops if I add allow debug in the game parameters so yeah that's a thing I need to fix before <laughs> actually uh, releasing mods and stuff I don't know how to do it uh, but I will figure out some time maybe or I could just make a bat file for making it run because it works from a bat file or batch file or what am I call it so yeah uh, I'll add this co comment to the description below as well and uh, you basically want it in both you want it in the client and the server thing so yeah let's just check if it has done yeah one succeeded and that's because I just compiled one so let's try to debug run it now I hope it should work the program why did it exit let's see if the bin now we have both of them there I don't really see why it's not working working but let's try to figure out um, let's search for some errors first error error what find it in here runtime error I don't think that causes it uh, find next there is no more there is no more is it nope there is no more um, why is it then doing it Um, let me try to figure that out now. Okay, guys, I figured it out. Um, it wasn't really a problem. Um, uh, it was just, uh, me that had changed the resolution for, um, my screen before I started recording, since I want to have good looking videos on YouTube. And, uh, Apparently, uh, the mod tried to start with a bigger window than the actual screen that I have now. So I changed uh, something in here, so if you get that same error thing, you can just change the resolution. So um, this makes the height to be 720 pixels high, or is it pixels? I don't know. And the width to be... Uh, 100 and uh, oh, 1000 and uh, 1280. So that should be perfect for this uh, screen. So let's just run and uh, wait. Just wait. Yeah. 
here we go, here we have it. And as you see here, uh, the background is kind of weird, and that's because of um, what did I just? Oh yeah, it's because of uh, missing uh, materials. You don't have any materials in the actual um, actual. As you see here, no material folder. You just do something like new folder materials. Not really. Not Is it? No way. I just typed it wrong, but whatever. Just copy that. <laughs> I can't be right today. Um, There we go. And uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just check into this one, the game info. Uh, as you see here, we have uh, the game is Half-Life Modern, as it should be. The title is Half-Life Episode 2. This is just... Uh, it's using uh, the Half-Life uh, font, and uh, that's why sometimes you would get some weird stuff. For example, if I write, uh, that's uh, wait, Hal Halvor, that's my name, and uh, then you would get some weird results, and. Uh, Half, uh, half life, mod, learn. Uh, oh, if I change it to this, save, and just run, 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 run. Or maybe stop the debug first. Uh, run. Now I think you would get some weird results. Yeah. Here you see. Um, this is because uh, the Half-Life font does actually just include those letters that it needs for its title. So it doesn't really write any V there at all, and not any O here either, because it's not, I don't know really why that O isn't there, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why the 2 is there either, so it's just messing around. So uh, I think that what you would want to do for getting this right is to go into resource, I think, client scheme. Uh, sh scream, uh, cry and scream. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just open it, and uh, I think you could open it with the normal uh, notepad as well. And then just go down here and find mine. Yeah, you could change some stuff uh, where it's placed on the screen, uh, but I don't really like to mess around with this because. Uh, I destroyed something one time. <laughs> uh, let us just find the title. Title, 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 title. Where is the title? I think it's really far down. Um, no, no. no, where is it? Client title for, uh, font. So, uh, if you want want to change that, you could just change it to something like um, Marlet. I think that's the thing it said up there, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. And that would be the same. Oh. This is the symbol for. Okay, you want 
you don't want to change to that. Um, you probably want to change to something like this instead. Veranda is pretty much uh, better. Uh, great much. Yeah. You don't really need to mess around with this. Uh, just save that and let's try to run it now. Let's run. Run, 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 run. Um, there we go. Here we got the Halvor Half-Life mod learn. So, it works. Uh, I think I may have put a uh, thing about there. That shouldn't be there. <laughs> or I forgot to delete the, the app. Delete it from the other thing. So. Okay. Um, stop the debug. And go into here. Yeah. No way. Wait a minute. Close that. Um resource of modern game info. And here we have it. Yeah, I forgot that one. So that is basically the start of a mod that you are going to make and I will teach you how to make. Goodbye.